caught the sneakest peeks. <laughs> Looks so wiggle. Yo, what up here? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today we are back with another video. And as you can see from the title, yes, we're being extremely overdramatic, but it is the truth. Here is why I am no longer buying any more pairs of jeans and primarily it's because of this bad boy right here. But prior to me unboxing this this wonderful package which by the way I've had in my possession for well over th three weeks now, potentially even four, just saving it for this very video. How are we going to word this? Basically a lot of you guys have been always asking me with regards to my methods of one in one out right and it's a rule that I sort of apply for myself but then recently it's kind of completely gone out the window and for this pair of jeans because I spent such a crazy like this is the most I've ever spent on a single pair of jeans for sure potentially even on a single garment. So I wanted to make room for it and I sort of documented the process of me just selecting a few pieces that I knew that I could get rid of in my wardrobe in order to accommodate for this particular pair of jeans, both in terms of value, but also in terms of just, you know, I'm holding onto a lot of shit. So let's just go through me selecting some pieces that I don't wear as much these days and I knew that I could get good value for that would kind of be the same or at least just underneath the value of these jeans so then I didn't feel so bad about spending this much. All right, so we got the package which is right here i'm not going to open it just yet i'm actually curious as to see whether you guys can guess what it is i do want to eventually break this down properly and give you guys like a proper closet tour but for the time being it's basically super messy i haven't fully set it up yet like you can kind of get if I've got pan just a tiny bit to the side i mean i don't know you might be able to see it but right now like boots are sat on top of boxes there's boxes everywhere i need to figure out where everything goes so for that reason I'm just trying to wait until this is all finished before I give you guys a proper closet tour. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. Now, if we start off on this end, the first pair of jeans I'm going to pull out actually are these. And they're so sick. Like, I love them. Junior Watanabe from, I want to say, spring, summer 02, maybe 03. I need to take a look at it. Beautiful pair, but I've had them in like four or five months. That's what I was getting. Four or five months. I have yet to wear them. Now granted, it, we've been in lockdown, so like we haven't really had a chance to really, you know, go out and dress up. But still, I think as sick as they are, they can go to a better house or a better home to someone that might actually like put a lot more wear into them. So I think I'm going to get rid of these. These are, Jesus Christ, that's that a bit too hard. These are trouser number one that I'm going to get rid of. No, keep in, keep in. The raff. Then we have the contro jeans. Which I'm going to keep now. We've got the orge sweatpants, which I don't wear that much, but the pink is too fire, so I'm not getting rid of that. The Loeves now, these homeboy is gonna like get it. And I've got the matching jacket for it. I think they're quite hard, yeah. They keep it. hard, like considering I can get I'm only gonna get a hundred pounds for them, yeah. At especially point, just, at that point, just keep, them. yeah, of course, a exactly. hundred pounds, pounds, nothing. Well, cheese, big man at Pratt's <laughs> yeah, crypto. <laughs> Crypto talk, hundred pounds, nothing. Left. Nah, that track is nice and it? it's just worth more than a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so we've got the Prada shorts, which now nah, I've got to keep those. We've got the Hyder sweats, we've got the Rick, we've got the running trousers, we've got the Stats, the Gucci jeans. Now these are white jeans, for example. Fuego, but ever since LA, I haven't really, you know, had a chance to wear them. And I don't think I will. Like they're nice, but I think it's maybe it comes down to the whole fact of like double Carhartt. So what are they called? Carhartt double carbon to jeans being so overpopulated right now has kind of turned me off them. And I think I can get a good amount of money for them, like 250, 300 pounds at least. I've worn them what just like a handful of amount of times. They still look amazing, you know. So I'm gonna add these. So that's what, even if we say these two are 300 each, give or take, I'm actually gonna give you guys a breakdown of like how much I'm selling them, how I'm gonna be selling them but that's 600 quid that's not too shabby i just came from a run so i've got the compression tights the dry fit shorts and then we've got the sanjeev hoodie sanjeev.com linked in the description box down below we still have some size smalls and mediums going so uh for this bad boy right here which oh my god it still has tags cray green size medium never worn these they're sick but just never worn them and plus i think in my opinion they give similar vibes to these, and I prefer these over this. So this is also gonna go. 
What did I do, bruh? White jeans, I'ma keep those, keep those, keep those, keep those. Keep those for sure, my flare trousers. What do you guys think? I could get rid of this, to be fair. This was a sample that I made for we worked back in the day. These never went into production because it was way too expensive to make and therefore retail would have been way too high. I don't really wear them that much, if at all. They've got some zippers all over. They look absolutely fuego. Let's just chuck them as well in there. Shorts, shorts. Now, okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep it real. Who is Jacob? Who is Jacob? has created some incredible black shorts. Dare I say, they're the best black shorts you can get currently. I'm pretty sure they're sold out by now. If not, I'll leave. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box down below. And I don't really need two or three pairs of black shorts, especially ones that look so similar. So the bare knuckles ones, which are also sick, but I personally prefer, the, which one do you prefer? They look pretty similar. In it? I so, get rid of one of them. Probably. But these are fire, so I'm definitely keeping yeah, those. Yeah, I think the left one's got more structure. So I'm going to get rid of the bare knuckles one, so I'm going to keep these. Elites. Oh, these are so sick. But I've never worn them. You sell that then, innit? But these are fire. Now, but some pieces you keep because you know that they're special. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but is it going to sell for more? Or like, what's, what's the situation? Because if it's not, then that's waste times too sell for more than what I paid for. Sell for more, like, appreciating over time, regardless of what you paid for it. Yes, eventually. Not right now, but, like, if I keep these for another few years, for sure. These are absolutely fuego. Nah, I'm <laughs> you're there. Yeah. Nah, no, no, no. This is this is a special pair. This is one that... You should sell that, bro. Well, you how ain't much gonna you... understand, man. You ain't gonna understand. Now, these, I tried to sell before. I'm pretty sure I didn't get lucky. I'm gonna try it again. But basically, these are some Valentino beautiful trousers camo wool fat turn up beautiful cut tapered as well let's see even if it's like 100 200 pounds why not do you know what i mean vintage rick slp classics vintage levi's these fuego but i've worn them once or twice they are like a uh, what do you call it like a fashion week piece or whatever they look amazing but seeing as i'm not wearing them i think they can go to a better house than someone that can actually appreciate them so in total we're getting rid of one two three four five six seven eight pair of trousers for slash jeans for one single item is that worth it i think to be fair if i sell them for the prices that i have in my head that should cover it which is a good thing. Which ones do you think you, I should keep out of all of them? Or do you think I should get rid of all They're of them? They're all dead, yeah. Oh! All dead, yeah? You better be careful with what you're saying, cuz. This ain't no joke thing out here, bruh. And this is like a point that I kind of want to mention in... Are you still recording, yeah? Yeah. This is a point that I kind of want to mention is that, sure, you should have some sort of attachment towards your clothing, but if you feel like, and you're very honest and authentic about it, if you feel like you're not wearing something, don't, bro, this is years of retail coming to me now. Like, making sure that everything is finger spaced and whatever. Um, if you feel like you're not wearing something, don't, don't hoard. Because you can get rid of it, you can make your money back, or you can sort of downsize your wardrobe. And I'm actually kind of glad that I'm doing this because one pair of jeans is currently equal to eight pair of trousers which means that I have more room in my wardrobe. Day two. Real simple process. I just lay everything down on the floor. I kind of, I also have like a list of things on my laptop that normally I track all of my wardrobe. So I know how much I paid for an item. If I'm gonna sell it, I at least try and sell it for the same price that I bought it for. Or if not, if I know that I got it for an absolute steal, then I'll sell it for a bit of a profit. So I know that this, how much I paid for, how much retail was, so I'm gonna try and sell it for the same price, seeing as I've barely worn it, I've worn it once, and I know that it's a bit of a hyped item. I could potentially even make a flip if I wanted to. So what I would do is just record a video, a full body, there you go, this is what it looks like, then you kind of go in with the details, show them the labels, which is right here. Boom, size, medium. Show them that, show them the little tassels, flip it if you need to. And there you go. It's that simple. Now I gotta go 
and do it for all of these put them up on instagram and then i'm going to give you guys an update as to how much i was able to sell now it's been a week since then everything has sold and everything has been sent off so in total we had one two three four five six seven eight nine pairs of trousers for slash jeans that i was able to sell for really good prices to be completely honest with you especially considering the fact that i was able to sell 90% of the pieces if not 95% of the pieces to the same price that I copped it for if not for a tiny bit more profit just because I was able to pull some strings when I first bought it and the good thing about this as well and I'm in a very fortunate enough position to be able to do so is that not only am I able to get it for a good price and then sell it for a good price it's still way under retail hence why they fly off whenever I put them on my IG story which by the way if you want a chance to cop some things every now and again I do these IG stories sporadically whenever I'm in the mood for it. Follow me on my social media. It's all right here in this corner. S-A-N-G-I-E-V. That is from my Twitter, Instagram, and all that other jazz. But anyway, let me just read this off. So the first pair of jeans that we sold were the off-white jeans, got 300 pounds for them. Then we sold the bare knuckles cargo shorts for 150 pounds. We've sold the Cray Green quilted trousers for 250. The Hyder Ackerman reissue sweatpants for 350. I already have the OG pair, so it just didn't make sense for me to have this pair right then we have the valentino trousers for 150 i had this pair of trousers in my wardrobe for so long yes they were beautiful but my god they needed to find a new home the junior watanabe spring summer o2 distressed diamond flared jeans they're so fire this was the only pair of trousers that i thought i might regret for such i still might regret any the future will tell us how i feel about it but for 400 pounds that was quite the come up the cray green tassel trousers for 300 pounds beautiful pair of trousers i only found myself wearing them outside once they need it then we had the balenciaga jeans straight wash i don't think i showed that in the vlog because i only picked it out later and then my reworked jeans which i sold for a beautiful 150 pounds which is actually the same price as the other reworked jeans went for although this one had a lot more work and it was a one-on-one -on -one sample so in total we actually made 2200 pounds which is insane. That's covered the cost of these jeans and then some, which I'm ever so thankful for. So fire, I'm so excited to get them out and to show you what we have here. Like I said, I had this for two, three weeks now, still haven't opened it. It is from the wonderful people, well, wonderful people, they were able to source it for me over in New York, the store called Manahatta. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now this is, I wonder, did I ask you guys to let me know in the comment section? I think I did in the vlog, but I wonder if you guys are able to guess. Now the reason why I spent so much money on this and I don't feel too crazy guilty about it is because despite the extremely high price tag, so this cost me 1.7k pounds to get it. Redonkulous, right? Despite that high price tag, they are actually reselling for a lot more on Grailed. So in my opinion, somewhat of a worthy investment. Now, I don't know if they will hold their value for the future. My plan with these is just to wear into them. I just caught the sneakers peaks. <laughs> Looks so fuego. My plan is to, you know, wear them, love them. It's always, at least in my opinion, yes, you shouldn't buy something for the sake of selling it, but if you're spending a lot of money, it's always good to know that, hey, you are able to get most of your money back, if not more, whenever you go on to move from it. So we're gonna pull it out of the box. We don't have anything. Oh, there you go, the receipt just fell out. Let's just chuck that there. Beautiful packaging. Wait, can you see? Whoa, no, it's going to be washed out. Uh, it's just a sticker that just says Manhattan. So excited, bro. Damn. We have in our hands a pair of the Capital. Boom, first impressions, full slash first look, right here. So beautiful. So I'm looking at the monitor, just so that you can get a good angle from it. The Capital Country 14 ounce denim crazy botanical rat flare jeans, flare star, hippie insane remake pro. 
quite the mouthful, $2,700, which was uh, 1.7K, or 1.8K, I think it was like 1790, so 1.8K pounds. Now, because as I said, I was able to sell off my old jeans, I don't feel the sting quite as much, but it's still such, boy, they look so <laughs> sick. <laughs> my God, my goodness. Now, one thing I am absolutely shook about is the sizing on these because I've been told that you need to size up with capital jeans. I got in contact with a dude and I asked for a size 32 because my waist is a 30, what, 30, 32. So I fluctuate in between those two. So I said 32, he was like, cool, I got you. But then he sent me a 34 thinking that I wanted it to fit a 32. So I'm curious to see what they look like when I try them on. In fact, you're gonna see the B-roll. I'm gonna scooch over to, wait, if my IG handle is here, let me scooch over to this side and then you're gonna see it on the phone right here. Look at that beautiful presentation that we're working on. We've got the jeans here. You're gonna be able to see it on the on body right here. Absolutely stunning. Bro, some of the detailing on this. Look at them. You've got some velvet patches, hand sewn or hand finished, some suede, some silk, um, what are they called? Finishes, flared, beautiful wash. Just crazy, crazy colorful. I mean, look at it. It uh, and that flare is so prominent as well. These are no joke. These are absolutely beautiful. I am gassed to try them on. Now this is a first impression. So imagine they're too big. I can always take them to a tailor or I can speak to the guys and be like, yo, <laughs> you wanna send me that 32 that I initially asked for instead of the 34? But yes. And we've got a little smiley on this side. And my favorite thing out of the, the whole lot is this beautiful little illustration that is hand sewn with some cord finishes that can be found. Uh, they're just underneath a tree. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. That is so cute. So cute. Boom skis, capital, jeans, redonkulous price point. Damn, this might just be the last video of the year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, if you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is on Twitter and Instagram. This was like an unboxing for such first impressions. I will be styling them and showing that to you guys. So hopefully in the near future, you shall see me rocking these, whether it be on Instagram or on YouTube. Thank you so much for your continuous love and support. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.